All right, cardiac anatomy. Let's go. Uh, so here's a 3D picture of the heart. Uh, superior is over here, right, left, and inferior. So let's start on this side over here. Here you got your right and left brachiocephalic veins, also known as inanimate veins. They converge to become the superior vena cava. Down here you can see the inferior vena cava. So let's spin this bad boy around. Again, superior vena cava, inferior vena cava. Sometimes on a fetal ultrasound, this will be called, or an echo, this will be called the bicaval view if you're scanning. So all this right atrium. Let's go fast. Here is the azagos vein draining into the superior vena cava. All right, so let's spin back around. Right atrium. And then all this right here is right ventricle. Here's the apex of the heart. Internally, the right atrium is separated from the right ventricle by the tricuspid valve. So here you have the right coronary artery coming off of the aorta. So let's spin that around a little better so you can see it. And then, all right, so right there, right coronary artery with its branches coming off of the aorta. All right, so after the blood goes from the uh, vena cava, right atrium, into the right ventricle, from there it goes into the pulmonary artery. All right, so here you got your main pulmonary artery separated from the right ventricle by the pulmonary valve. So main pulmonary artery, which bifurcates into the right and left pulmonary artery. Let's see a posterior view. So right here is the, the two pulmonary arteries there. And here's your aorta. So once the pulmonary artery bifurcates into right and left, the blood goes to the lungs, gets oxygenated, it comes back via the pulmonary veins. So here you have your four pulmonary veins, which drain into the into the atrium. I don't know in this in this diagram why this aorta is going here. The aorta continues downwards. We'll go with the aorta now. So you know you got your your left and right pulmonary veins that drain into the left atrium. All right. So all right. So this is the left atrium, left atrial appendage. The pulmonary veins dump the blood into the left atrium. And then from the left atrium, the blood goes into the left ventricle. So here is your conical left ventricle. Left atrium and left ventricle is separated by the mitral valve, which out of all the valves is the only one that's normally two leaflets. So it's also called the bicuspid valve. So once the blood goes into the left atrium, it gets pumped into the aorta. So here's your aorta. You got your ascending aorta, aortic arch, and, and descending aorta. So on the aortic arch, you got your, your branches, which are the, so here, aortic arch, the branches of the aortic arch are the brachiocephalic artery or anonymous artery, which bifurcates into right subclavian and right common carotid artery. Then you have your left carotid artery and your left subclavian artery. So ascending arch, the three vessels, which is the normal configuration, and then descending aorta. All right, so real quick, let's go over the, the surface vessels. Again, that's the right coronary artery. Here you have your left coronary artery, which they both come off of the aorta. Here's your left anterior descending artery. And then your left circumflex artery. So let's follow the left circumflex. There it is. Going around and posterior to the heart. Going along with the great cardiac vein. And then the great cardiac vein goes into the coronary sinus. Right here. All right, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to go over this quick, and this is the heart. Thank you. Bye.